guys welcome back to the channel today I'm just gonna be doing a quick little shop card shout out and show you a couple of uh, interesting items that just joined the stash and should be pretty cool for future builds the first person I want to give a shop card shop card shout out to is ruckus rod and custom this guy is very cool and he's doing one of my favorite builds right now, which is building an, a 1984 Indy Fierro replica. You guys got to check this out. He's doing great work with that. He actually owns a real 1984 Indy Fierro replica. Uh, and uh, that car is cool too. And I'm hoping we see more of that on your channel. Show us, Give us a little tour of the car. Show us your 1-1. One, one. Because uh, what little I've seen of it, I really like it. It's one of my dream cars. And dude, I'm waiting for you to get back to that build because I really want to see the rest of it. So you guys check out Ruckus Rod and Custom. He's doing great work and I'm looking forward to seeing more from him. The next shop card that I just got in comes from Tom at the Model Hobbyist. He's doing really cool work and... I really like this shop card. I mean, what better shop card for a model car guy than a model car in all its separate parts? That is a very cool idea for a shop card. Wish I had thought of it, but you beat me to it. He does some really cool stuff. He's building a 1927, uh, I think it's a Ford Model T police car, which I'm very interested in because I was thinking of picking up that same model myself. And... Um, I'm really curious to see what you do with it. So, uh, Tom, I'm really going to be looking forward to uh, seeing more of that build and all the others. That Camaro you're doing, it's also pretty cool. So, I uh, don't know if you finished that one yet. I've been I'm a little behind on my videos. And sorry it took me so long to send you a shop card. But, uh, you know, life kind of gets in the way. And uh, my time is really limited right now. But I did send it out to you. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more from your channel. So guys, if you're out there, give both of these guys a peek on their channels because they're both doing great work. And William at the, hold on a second, almost dropped that. William at the, at Ruckus Rod and Custom and Tom at the Model Hobbyist. Give these guys, check these guys out. You're not going to be sorry. Subscribe to them. Give them a thumbs up because they both get thumbs up from me. So check them out all right now let's move on to a couple of stash additions the first one is this 64 oldsmobile which is actually a pretty cool kit it's basically just a reissue of an old amt kit and it is i don't know if it has an engine or not from oh yes it does have an engine oh here we go at first, I thought it was just a curbside, but it does have an engine, which is a good thing because I love to customize the engines. You can build it one of three ways. Let me get this light reflection out of the way. And you know me, I love my stock models. So I'm looking to build that. I mean, that's just super clean. Let me see if I can. There we go. Look at that. That's just a really good looking car. Just classic American styling from the 60s. And this is what I'm the version I'm looking at looking at building. I mean you can also go wild and race car. You have all these different options. I really, really dig this model. So this is gonna be fun. And I'm probably gonna do this color too. As uh, I think it's just a really good color for the car. So this was a Hobby Lobby 40% off deal. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. We'll be unboxing this soon on the channel so we can all see together what's in here. All right, let's move on to the next one. This was actually gifted to me by a buddy of mine. It's an Italiari kit. Italeri. 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 Um, and... Uh, 124 scale fire jeep it's actually pretty neat i've never seen this before a buddy of mine at work has had it for a while and he doesn't really build models he got it as a 
I think he said he got it as a gift. It's a 2007 kit. And it's actually pretty cool. Look at all the details in that. There's a lot of room for detailing all sorts of different textures and materials to try and simulate. And that is a very cool model. So I'm going to be looking forward to diving into this one. Yeah, this has got all the all the firefighting equipment, ladders, hoses, everything. Very, very cool. So this is going to be definitely on the channel at some point soon once I get past all the other builds that I have to get through. Probably at some point next year, early next year, this will be on the channel. So that pretty much is all I have to share this time around. And I just want to finish it off by saying, pay, go check out Tom at the Model Hobbyist. His builds are really cool and you're really going to enjoy them. I'm really looking, like I said, I'm really looking forward to that 27 police car. And check out Will at the Ruckus Rod and Custom. Check out that Fiero build. Uh, he's If you're following the builds on my channel, it's the same model that I'm building, the 1985 Fiero GT. But he's doing the pace car version, whereas I'm doing a custom version for a uh, member of the Midwest Fiero Club. So, that's going to be it, guys. That's all I got for now. It's just a short little video to bring you guys uh, up to date on uh, what's going on at the channel. Oh, hold on a second. I do have something of interest here. And uh, Will at Ruckus Rod and Custom, you might find this interesting. I know you're really into Fieros like I am. And uh, you know that Fieros were the king of kit cars for a while. I have a few odds and ends and spare parts lying around, including this body of a Fujimi ferrari daytona so just goofing around i decided i'm gonna put it on the chassis of a fiero and surprise surprise it actually fits this is a fiero gt 125th scale chassis on the fujimi in the fujimi ferrari daytona body and as you can see the engine fits right where the ferrari engine would fit it's a uh, just a really, really interesting bit of Fiero fun for those of us who are into these cars. As I now have a kit of a car that's a kit. So, just thought that would be a little fun thing to throw in there for those of us who are Fiero fans. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Remember, Tom the Model Hobbyist and Ruckus Riding Custom. Check these guys out. They're very cool. And I will see you guys on the next one.